In this video, we're going to create a template for circular loading animations. And the way it's going to work is we're going to have a component containing the visual style of the loading circle. And then we're going to use an instance of this component inside another component where we will set up the actual animation. And then for our prototypes, we're going to use an instance of this component where you're going to actually see the final animated rotating outcome. This video is a part of a playlist on mobile app design and if you're interested and want to support the channel you can check out the link in the description that will take you to my store where you can purchase the source file for everything we have created in this five hour masterclass as well as follow-up videos which this video is going to be a part of. So definitely go and check out that link in the description. Also check out the playlist this video is a part of where you can see the full process behind creating all of this. Now the great thing about this is going to be the fact that whenever we change anything here, let's say that we're going to make this red for some reason, right? Then it's going to be updated in this instance, which is going to then update the final outcome, right? So we are basically going to be creating a template for these types of loading animations for your Figma prototypes. So Let's just, let's just get started. So the first thing, as I said, I'm going to do, I'm going to go for this component. I am going to make a rather simple version because we want to figure out the functionality first. And then whatever is going to be happening afterwards is just visual edits. Okay. So let me just create a frame by 100, 100 by 100 that I'm going to rename to loading wheel visual. And what I'm going to do next, just for, again, keeping it very simple, I'm going to press O on my keyboard, and then I'm going to click once inside of the frame, which is going to create an ellipse inside of this frame. I'm going to make this loading wheel. Okay, and uh, I'm going to grab this little circle. I'm going to press shift. And I'm going to move it over here so we get this type of a shape right? This is going to be black for now. Okay, very, very simple. Awesome. Okay, so what we're going to do next is first of all, turn off the fill for this frame. So we just get a transparent type of loading wheel. And I'm going to create a component from this. Okay, create component. And then let me alt or option and drag to create an instance, right? So whatever we change here, is now going to be changed here because it's an instance. With this instance, I'm then going to press Command Option G, which is going to create another frame around this instance. And this frame is going to be called Loading Wheel Animation, right? So we have Loading Wheel Visual and we have Loading Wheel Animation. Now this container is going to be a component, okay? So what we have here is two components but the second one contains the first one, which contains this. So again, whenever we change anything here in our visual type of component, that's going to be updated here as well. We could make it gray. Okay, perfect. Now what I'm going to do next is create a variant for this. And we are going to be renaming the properties for this component. It's not going to be property one, but rather state. Uh, it's going to be zero and then one. Okay. I am going to position these variants so that they go like this. One, two, and three and four. Uh, now, again, select this variant and then click plus to create another variant. The state is going to be called three, just three. Okay, I'm going to move it over here. And then finally, again, that's going to be four. Okay, so let's just, let's just recap what we have. We have a component containing four variants. Each of these variants is containing, I just realized that I messed up with the variant name. So it's going to be state two, and three actually okay, because we're sta starting at zero right perfect now um, again these variants yeah, there are four variants that contain a component an instance which is this over here again so we get 
updates whenever we change this that's going to be updated here and now for the actual animation what i'm going to do is select and this is very important so if you don't get this right then your animation is not going to work okay i'm going to select the second variant but then i'm going to select the actual component inside of that variant okay not the loading wheel itself but this component right what i'm going to do then is press shift and then click and drag to rotate this by 90 degrees all right similar to this one loading wheel visual again the instance i'm going to rotate this 90 degrees and then 90 more degrees similarly i'm going to select the third one or number three which is actually the fourth one because zero one two three right loading wheel visual again i'm selecting the instance rotating that 90 degrees then 90 more degrees and then finally 90 degrees again right so we have four different states and then what i'm going to do is this i'm going to select this variant and now i'm going to be selecting the variant not the component inside right i'm going to go to prototype and then i'm going to connect the first variant to the second variant and i'm going to say after delay one millisecond change to state one and this is going to be smart animate and it is going to take let's say 300 milliseconds okay uh, it's not going to be ease out this is going to be linear okay and then what i'm going to do is select this one the variant not the component inside the variant connect that to the third one Again, after delay, one millisecond, change to state to smart animate linear 300 milliseconds. And then the third one, number two. I'm gonna select again the whole variant, connect that to the fourth, number three, right? Connecting that to this one. Similarly to all the previous ones, after delay, one millisecond, state three smart animate linear 300 okay finally i'm going to connect the final variant to the first one and i'm gonna again say after delay one millisecond change to state zero smart animate linear 300 so basically this component is going to be changing states on its own because there is the after delay quote unquote interaction Right, so let me remove this whole thing, this scheme, and let me actually create a section so that we have some order in the file. I'm gonna rename this to a circular loading animation template, and I'm just gonna move these two, I'm gonna move these two, these two inside of that section. Okay, so we get this, awesome. I'm just gonna tidy this up, that's great, perfect and I'm gonna move it somewhere over here, just so that it's easier to navigate, okay? Now, let's make something a bit more interesting, right, shall we? I'm going to select this loading wheel circular item inside of the first component, and I'm gonna to go to fill and then go to a gradient. This gradient is gonna be angular, and I'm just gonna move this center point to be somewhere around here and drag this second color out towards this area okay and now watch this when i do let's say zero 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 but this one's gonna have an opacity of zero then we get this cool effect isn't that interesting that looks like an actual loading circular animation and uh, now that this is uh, finished let me use an instance of this component i'm going to alt or option drag to create an instance right this is now an instance and i'm going to move this onto this page so we have a page in our prototype i'm going to select this command x select page content command v or control v if you're on windows and the next thing I'm gonna do is launch the prototype design system. And here we go, brilliant. And that's how you create 
a loading animation, circular loading animation in Figma. You can see we have all these other interactive elements. So definitely go and check out the playlist, check the link in the description. And as I said, because we chose the template approach, the templatized approach, let's say I want to change color or better yet, let's say I want to create another variant of this because I want to keep both. So I'm going to create another variant of this circle and this circle is going to be, let's say, completely blue. It's going to be a blue circle. Okay, it's going to be blue. Now what I need to do is with this selected, I can press enter and then change the variant to variant two. And if I now go to the prototype again, you can see it changed color. And if I make up my mind, I can again select all of this, press enter to select these individual instances and variant one or default. And boom, it's back to black again. So it's very flexible. You can use this in your own projects. It looks cool, it's animated and it's easy to change. So yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching. Hope you found this video useful. Hope you learned something new. If you did, I would appreciate you leaving a like. Go and check out the other episodes. Thanks for tuning in and I will see you in the next one.